Four length robot, extreme terrain, and precision control. The Kojapet Robot Challenge is where mobility meets mastery. Teams from around the world are pushing their creation to the limit in the test of agility, autonomy, and teamwork. Let's see them in action. The QRC Quadrobat Robot Challenge is to test the robot uh, in the search and rescue kind of situation. So when there is the unstructured environment, we don't want to deploy human uh, first responder. We want to deploy the robot first and then want to see uh, the observation and then get the situation. So there are tasks like mobility tasks that how well the robot can uh, walk around in the very unstructured environment. And second, we want to do some very primary tasks that robot how much it can do. For example, observing the the valve or the the numbers in some the operating machines, those kind of things, and operating very simple immersion switches, those kind of. On the one hand, we have tail operation, where the user is uh, tail operating the robot. And this is actually the most applicable scenario because rescue personnel actually want tail operation. They want to be on control. But we are, of course, roboticists. We want also autonomy. So we are also pushing for autonomy that the robots drive themselves and that they even can do the inspection and the manipulation themselves. We are Team Cubot from Tsinghua University. And our robot is uh, B2, the big one. It's a very big uh, uh, robot. It can cover the uh, difficult terrains. But the biggest challenge is uh, the map is uh, difficult. Uh, the lane here states is very difficult for every team. Uh, many robots can't go through the steps. This is the biggest problem. The, the arena is difficult uh, and all our teams is is working hard to traverse the terrains and what's, what's the more what's even more difficult is that uh, our robot needs to stop precisely on the terrain and just stick out our arms to inspect the points. And we have uh, four, team, uh, four team members, they need to work together and uh, uh, cooperation. Day. So uh, it's uh, everything is uh, is is a very a challenge. Rescue robots have been used also, uh, as you know, in Fukushima Daiichi, uh, where the atomic power plant uh, had this accident. Uh, lots of rescue robots were used, um, and so in many disaster scenarios, we have those rescue robots, and in many police and firefighting teams are actually uh, employing rescue robots now not really to rescue a person but to have situational awareness and to do some uh, exploration in areas which are really too dangerous to send personally. I believe this will help more those uh, first responders in the real situation. The situation is belong to robot, intelligent robots. 